Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 21, verses 5 through 11, where it is written, When some were speaking about the temple, how it was adorned with beautiful stones and gifts dedicated to God, he said, As for these things that you see, the day will come when not one stone will be left upon another, and all will be thrown down. They asked him, Teacher, when will this be, and what will be the sign that this is about to take place? And he said, Beware that you're not led astray, for many will come in my name and say, I am he, the time is near, do not go after them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for these things must take place, but the end will not follow immediately. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes in various places, famines and plagues. There will be dreadful portents and great signs from heaven. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The end of the world. <sighs> Ten years ago, there was a movie 2012, which talked about the end of the world. The world being destroyed by ecological disasters. In the last few years with COVID, it felt, has felt like the end of the world. And ironically, uh, some of these things, wars, rumors of wars, and so on, yeah, it's like the front page of the paper, or I'm sorry, the front page of the internet at this point. Yeah, our lives are not infinite, and not in this earth anyway. This earth is not infinite. An end will come. And so many people think of the end of their lives as a terrible thing. We think of the end of the world as a disaster. In many ways it is. But think about it. Jesus Christ's life ended in death. Not natural death, but he was murdered on the cross. It was a tragedy. And it was God's victory. God looked all straight in the eye with all of her evil that had him killed and said, I love you. I forgive you. He wanted the realm of the dead to overthrow the kingdom of darkness. He rose from the dead and thus guaranteed that at the end the world will not be destroyed, but remade, restored to its Edenic state. The death of Jesus Christ then, while a tragedy, was also a victory. And so when we die in faith, the same with us, it is a tragedy as we're leaving our loved ones behind. But it's a victory also, because now our heavenly families will be reunited with us. Until eventually, the end of this world, when the Lord returns, the heavenly family comes here. Think of Thanksgiving, Christmas, all those happy memories throughout the years. Imagine them all rolled into one on steroids with Jesus there and Mary and the saints and the angels. And that's just a fraction of what heaven will be like. Now, to get there first, bad things happen. I don't, I'm not ever going to lie and say they don't happen. There's real tragedy out there. But in the end, it will be swallowed up by Jesus Christ and his victory. And the bad things that happen, sometimes they're not our fault. Sometimes they are. And for those things that are our fault, how can we go before a holy, righteous God? We can't unless we repent and ask to be forgiven. So for that kingdom of heaven with Jesus and his mother and the saints and the angels, when we repent, we know that we don't deserve to be there. We're guaranteed a spot there. And this is coming eventually. It's going to be wonderful. And that's our hope during the dark, difficult times of this life. That while no one will say they aren't true, they thankfully are not eternal. The good times, the life will be eternal. Thanks be to God. Let us close with prayer. Lord, help us to always cling to your, our, our hope in you and that kingdom. Bring it and bring it eternally and soon, God. Amen.